The main problem in a local energy system is that we're moving away from a conventional paradigm where generation follows demand to a new low carbon paradigm where demand has to follow generation. Historically, you have one main power station that could be coal or gas, and that powers the rest of the network. And you can have it whenever you want. So we match our generation to meet our demand. But in a low carbon system, you have solar and wind, and these sources are both uncertain and intermittent. So because you have very little control over when the sun shines and when the wind blows, you need to be able to shift consumption in time so that you can adapt to these changes. Flexibility is really key in order to make sure that we're able to manage our energy at a very local level. And in order to do that, we need to think of new ways to incentivise investment in that flexibility and find new ways to integrate it within the energy system and control it in the smartest possible way. There are two major options. Either we modify our demand, so switch when we're using energy and electricity, or we need a lot of storage so that we can store the energy when it's generated by the solar or wind turbines and use it in the evening when we want to cook our dinner. The main research problem is figuring out how to control thousands or even hundreds of thousands of assets. An asset is basically anything that can control its consumption or generation. This can be an electric vehicle which charges or discharges. This could be a smart building that adjusts its thermostat settings in a way that helps the grid. If you allow your appliances to be controlled in a way that helps the system, that will make the environment cleaner and greener. By 2040, there will be 30 million electric vehicles on UK roads. Every electric vehicle has a battery inside it. Now you can charge this battery on renewable energy when it's plugged in. Say it's plugged in over lunchtime whilst you're at work. In the evening, you plug it in at home. You can then use the energy inside that battery to power your house. If you electrified all of the vehicles in the UK, you could power the entire country for two days. The use of hot water tanks, heating systems, heat pumps and electric vehicles. Each one of those technologies have a fantastic opportunity to make sure that our national system works well. According to recent studies, about £4.5 billion pounds can be saved annually with the introduction of flexibility and smart technologies into our energy system. Government has a really important role to play in this, in making sure that the right policy and the right regulation are in place, which allows these local systems to develop. This isn't going to be a kind of one-size-fits-all because you do have to be very aware of what types of technology are most suitable in that area. And so government really have to work with local authorities and community groups in order to make sure that we build the most appropriate and the best energy system for that location. We need to do something much bigger than putting a sticky plaster over the symptoms of climate change. A low carbon future is very, very different from what you see today. Everyone has a role to play in the future energy system. Everyone will have to do their bit. I'm not sure we have a choice any longer.